Welcome guys, it is the X-Man here, and we are back with another video on Jurassic World Evolution 2, yeah boy. So last time we showed off the lagoon, if you've not seen that video, there will be a card up in the top right somewhere you can click on. But now, we're going to check on the aviary, I can never say that word, but the place where the birds live, the pteranodons, the dimorphodons and stuff. So, uh, before we do start, if you like the video, make sure you whack and a like, make sure you're subscribing, because we're going to be doing a bunch of Jurassic World content on this channel so you don't want to miss any of that and follow all the social medias and stuff so let's crack on we're just going to jump straight into it so again we're in sandbox mode uh we've only unlocked a bunch of the creatures there's still some flies that we don't have but i don't want to spoil everything for you so let's start then what we need we need the aviary dome again i can't say the words so i'm going to say the just the dome so we're going to put a few creatures in here so you could have the standard you know, just the one little thing. You could probably fit a couple of dons in there. But we want some uh, nice and spacious. Let's make it like four or... Let's, uh... Let's have a bit of a penis shape. Let's have it a bit bigger because size <laughs> freaking matters. So like with the lagoon, you need a hatchery, a special hatchery. And we're going to whack that just down here. Obviously, again, needs to be connected like everything in, the, in this game so the viewers can get it but yeah we have a nice penis shaped <laughs> Avery just there we're also gonna do our viewing galleries now these are really freaking cool so we're gonna have one uh we're gonna have one this side i'm also gonna pop one over on this side and i'm also gonna pop one on the tip so that seems like you cover most of what's going on in there I kind of like that. So they're all going to build up. We'll attach them all in a minute. So let's have a look at the dinos that I have. Um, so we have a Dimorphodon, Pteranodon, and the dude, I cannot pronounce his name, the Tropogaphnus. Yeah. So I've got these three. That's what we're going to show off. There is creatures still unlocked. But again, we don't want to spoil the whole game for you, do we? So we'll start with... We'll start with a couple of Dimorphodons. So we need at least three of them in there. So we'll, we'll go here. Uh, we'll probably have about four of them in there. So we'll whack some of them in there. We'll also put some Pteranodons in there. Pteranodons, you need about three of them in there. So just before we do release all of the, uh, the flyers, we do need some water in here. So... They like to have a lot of water. Obviously, they're flies, so they don't really, um, you know, knock about too much on the land. So what we're going to do, we're going to fill this in with water just here. And what they eat is they eat fish. So they're going to sit on there. They're going to eat that. And then depending on what fly you have, some like a bit of forest. I think uh, a lot of them like to have rock, if I remember correctly. So let's just... Uh, place a bit of rock it might be sand actually i can't remember off the top of my head but yeah we'll pop a bit of rock in there and we are ready for our dimorphodons here we go then we've got a i think four of these dimorphodons Damn. i love these i love these did we only get three of them i've got four of them here is the Dimorphodon. I, I want to say the aviary thing is freaking beautiful. Like, it, I don't know what it is, but it really, it just looks so cool. So the flyers have this a really cool ability where they will just chill. They fly here like this and they just sit on the viewing platforms. And I don't know why it is just so freaking cool. So like people would come and view these creatures and there's literally just like a Dimorphodon sat on top of them. I do want to say, however, the skin for this dude is beautiful. So, yeah, if you only have the one viewing platform, they will all congregate onto here. Like your pteranodons, anything you've got in this viewing play, in this aviary, will come and pretty much sit on here. We've also got one eating just now. Oh, I think we just missed him eat. You still hungry, Buddha? You gonna eat another one? No, he's off. Yeah, see that this one's just chilling over here as well. I just think that's so cool. And then we've got a dude down here on his iPad, sir. Sir, there is there is a dinosaur, a living dinosaur, and you're just there chilling on your iPad playing Flappy Bird, bro. <laughs> you need to take a hard look at yourself. All right, so this one's looking for food, so we're gonna see two of these actually come and eat together, which is really cool. So, I mean, there's massive fish, but look, they get the little ones. They swallow them whole. It's pretty cool. You want another one or is that all you were good, sir? You're all good. All right, let's have a look then at the Pteranodons then. So I think I only got the two of these. But here we go. 
Damn, look at that skin. Look at that one. Got green on it. The iconic Pteranodon. You know, actually, looking at the, the skin crew of this one longer, I don't actually like the green on him. <laughs> I don't like the green, but here we go. He's going to come and land on here as well. It's just, it's just so cool. They all just freaking sit here. God, the Trandons are creepy, man. Like, this dude's still on his iPad. There are so many dinosaurs about. He just does not care. So this is what they do. They pretty much just chill. Because obviously, they're birds. They don't want to be flying around all the time. But yeah, they all just kind of chill. They sit here. Make noises. They just hang out with the uh, dumb orthodons. Um, yeah, so these are meant to have free. But yeah, these are happy with this environment. Um, can I just find one of the dumb orthodons? Are you happy with this environment? Oh, you like a bit of sand? All right, so they like a bit of sand, they do. I think the, the trops, which we're doing next, I'm sure they like a bit of forest. I'm not a huge fan of Tranodons. I don't know what it is about them. Any game, any game that has Tranodons, they're always a little creepy looking. Arc Tranodons are weird and slimy. Jurassic Park, Jurassic World Tranodons are all a little evil looking. But here we go. He's going to go and have some food. So he's going to sit, land on air. He's going to go fishing. Boom, there we go. Got his fish, swallowing it whole as you do. That's how you eat fish. There's his buddy coming to have some food as well. And now he's probably going to fly around for a little tiny bit and then he's going to go and land back onto the uh, the viewing platform. Yeah, look, he's already aiming for it. Very lazy creatures, man. They're all very lazy. But yeah, I like the little animation. Come to pop down. But yeah, very... Uh, very creepy, man. And here we go, then. The trop, which you only actually got the one of these. Only one egg actually synthesized. So here we go. Want to say, looking pretty beautiful. I like you, sir. Or madam. Sorry, they're all females. Every dino is a female. I really like the skin on this one. I've actually not seen the skin on this one. Like, properly, I never really took too much, uh, looked too much, uh, into it, actually. But yeah, these dudes are really cool, so I'm pretty certain, yeah, this dude likes a bit of forest. He likes a bit of forest. But look at that tip on his beak, man. That's sick. I like that. These dudes remind me from Walking with Dinosaurs. So yeah, again, another fly is gonna come and he's gonna sit on here with the other flyers. Yeah, this dude's definitely my favorite out of all the flyers. So far, loving, loving that little uh, beak color thing. Definitely prefer him over the Dimorphodon as well. Way over the Tranodon, but yeah, over the Dimorphodon. Here we go. He's going to swoop down and get some food. Boom. There we go. Fish are panicking. So he's eating. So is the Tranodon. Oh. That's how you catch fish, bro. Just launch your face in there and get one. That was sick. I like that. I liked how he got fish. The other ones are like slow and wait for it. He's like, no, I'm getting that straight away. Oh, he also wants a bit of water as well. It is nice to see him on the ground. Obviously, the flies really wouldn't be on the ground too much in real life. Unless I guess they were like mating or whatever. But it is nice to see him just land, grab some water. Yeah, then he's probably just going to go. Yeah, he's looking at which viewing platform to go to. And there's, he's going to chill on there with them. I don't know, he's going to have a little fly around. But yeah, that's the uh, the aviary thing place. So uh, yeah, you can make it really big. You can have just one dome. But it's kind of very similar to how the lagoon's done. You can uh, attach them together. You can make some really long ones and short ones, whatever your preference is. But yeah, so that's the, the new type of creatures we had in Jurassic World Evolution 2. So we've already showed the water one off, like I said. There's your flyers. And uh, yeah, I am actually very impressed. I got scared that it was only going to get maybe two of each type, but we ended up getting six, I think, five or six of each, which is really neat. I'm sure we'll get more with DLCs and whatnot. So, there we go. So, if you did enjoy the little, like, showcase of them, make sure you whack in a like on the video. Make sure you subscribe him, because we're going to do some, like I said, dino battles and some playthroughs on the challenge modes and uh, stuff like that. So, yeah, thank you very much for hanging out today, and I will catch you all in a little bit. See you later.